Let's look at Slayer for Fury. Oh boy, Blade Storms, Blade Storm Fury. The last time, uh, the last time I played Blade Storm Fury was because I had the Ring, Ring of Tormented Kings in Shadowlands, and then you hoped for Blade Storm and you got Recklessness and you went fuck. And you hoped for wreck, and you got blade storm. Yeah, you and you still hated life. Big RNG spec, big RNG. But let's build it for a single target first, and then we'll go to AOE. Uh, so one thing I have noticed is that in terms of PV, in terms of like PVE. You're basically building the same war. It's it's kind of the same thing as before. Like you're basically building the same exact warrior tree. But because we're not playing Mountain Thane, we don't take Thunderclap anymore, so we take this. Uh double time. We're not casting Slam as Fury, so we're taking like Honed Reflexes, Barb Uh uh, we're not even taking... I mean, I guess we're taking Sidearm as Fury instead. Because we, we're not casting Slam. That's kind of where that talent point comes into, I guess. Between the two. Well, I think Spear does have a AoE capabilities. The problem is that... Normally, when you do AoE, you do a lot of AoE. And when you do a lot of AoE, Thunderous Roar is uncapped and Spear is capped. And most of Fury is capped at five targets. So if you're doing mass AoE, there's no reason to run Champion Spear because your class is capped at five targets. Why be capped at five targets for the duration of a Spear when you could just do damage to all of them? You know what I mean? With through uh, Thunderous Roar. Probably the Stility. Uh... Probably just Slayer Strikes. So here's how they change Tunnel Vision. Tunnel Vision ramps every three seconds while you're in combat. So it takes Tunnel Vision 30 seconds to get to 20% attack speed. On pure, pure single target, this is fine. But if you have to swap targets at all, you lose the whole bonus and it takes another 30 seconds to rebuild it. That sucks. So if there's any target swapping at all, you run in for the kill. So you're probably running Thrill of the Kill. Uh, if, we're, we're, if we're assuming pure single target, we'll go Tunnel Vision, right? And then we're not really playing around Overwhelming Blades. We're just getting increased damage to the target through Frenetic Flurry and non Randling Onslaught and Demise. We're just getting these damage stacks through this, right? And we're reducing the... And here... Oh, God. Oh, God. We're, de we're guaranteed to desync, dude. This doesn't reduce the cooldown of, of Recklessness, so we're just guaranteed to desync Bladestorm from everything. <clears throat> I would rather Tunnel Vision be like you lose half of your stacks if you swap a target, so it's only 15 seconds if you have to, like, swap and then swap back, right? Instead of losing all of your attack speed and your rage regeneration, right? That just sucks. But if we're going here and we're going single target, what points do we take? Uh, what points do we take? I mean, are we just taking a point into second win because it's here? All right, we took a point in second win. We still, we need, okay, look, we need to spend two more points in our single target setup for Slayer. We need to spend two more points. And all we have left are different shouts, PvP or AoE. Maybe one of these? We already took second win. We're not taking Intimidating Shout or one of these. We're not casting Slam. Are we just forced to take like Stormbolt? 
And this, maybe a three minute 20% health thing? This is just terrible. This entire section is just terrible. Like, this entire section is just awful. So, from here, we once again, if we're running single target, ha 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 ha. We build the same every single time. Yeah, we're fucking forced to spend it. What am I. If I took a point out of bitter immunity, what am I going to spend it on? AoE talents? Like in wrecking throw? Maybe? We're not casting slam. We're not. We don't have the intervene shield talent for Mountain Thane. I mean, if there's an ad that we need to kill that we have to interrupt, like Sire Denathrius, maybe? Maybe you fucking send concussive blows? But even then, you have to interrupt an enemy to get any offensive value from it. So we, I honestly, you just take this and you just macro it into your health pot. And it's like, oh, bigger health pot. Whee! <laughs> I don't fucking know. So this already locks us into a couple things, right? We're guaranteed to have to take sudden death. Um, we're mainly focused on bloodthirsting here, right? We're mainly focused on bloodthirsting here. I don't know if I'm just I don't know which enrage is better. It's just going to be a, a number, right? Once again, it's just a numbers thing. Who cares? It's going to be something. We're going to be spamming bloodthirst because we want because we want to um, every other global is going to be bloodthirst like our current tier set. Where it, we want it to pop the blade storms and do damage. Right, bloodthirst damage. So if we're spamming bloodthirst, we're probably going to take some bloodthirst talents, right? We're probably not going to take Thunder's War, so we're probably not going to take that. Oh, by the way, here's the fun thing. Here's the really fun thing. Because we're basically, we're, Frenzy is always a damage increase. That means if you're running Frenzy and Tunnel Vision, if you swap targets, you lose 20% attack speed and 8% haste. <laughs> like, like, this is so bad if you have to swap ever. It's like someone asks you to swap off the boss and you're like, sorry, brother, I lose 15% damage by doing that. Huh? Like, nah. Um, so if we're going single target, probably taking this, probably taking this. I mean, I mean, we'll go here. We'll, we'll, we're doing the same shit again, right? Um, but instead, we're taking Bladestorm. Okay, I don't even have enough points for this. So what do I get rid of? We're probably not going to be building crit. <laughs> so... <clears throat> what do I get rid of for this other talent point? Take a point out of Vicious Contempt, maybe? <clears throat> but then here's the problem, right? If I do this... Our main button is Bloodthirst, right? Because Bloodthirst gives us our frenetic flurry, it pops our stuff, right? Executes and Bloodthirst. But if I'm doing that... And I'm taking all these Bloodthirst talents... Because Bloodthirst is my primary button here... I still have Raging Blow to hit between every Bloodthirst. So am I going to all... Where's my points for the Raging Blow talents? 
Is it just numerically bad to take blood craze and cold steel hot blood? Like maybe that point <clears throat> just isn't worth it. And then maybe you do something like this. Mm, I still need a point for this. Ha 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 ha. I still need a point for that. So do I just lose 15%? I mean, if I'm mainly hitting Bloodthirst, I guess, am I losing 15% rage damage? Am I just not taking Hack and Slash because I don't need to refund Rage and then run that instead? God damn it, and I still don't have another point for this! Wow, this is this and if I take oh my god oh my god oh my god this is just terrible this is this is just awful because I need these points in I need to spend 20 points to get here and then I'm required one two three four five six seven eight nine ten So then do I just have this and then hope I reset all of my... If I'm hitting Bloodthirst every global, I'm just hoping that I'm resetting cooldowns of Raging Blow, but I also have less Raging Blow cooldown from uh, Hasted and Home Reflexes and the chance they reset their own cooldown. So maybe I just run with this and then hope I don't run out of buttons because I, I might want Hack and Slash for this. Like, I'm just... Like, uh, Slayer just, like, just doesn't seem to work. You know what I mean? Like, I just need too many points for it to, like... One of the reasons why it was so nice to have the this tier where we're focused on slam and, um, with Annihilator and slam and Bloodthirst is because it's like, okay, I press the Bloodthirst and then I press the slam button, right? I don't care about all these Raging Blow talents, but now I need Raging Blow talents. Because Slaughtering Strikes is also really good. So we're going to be running that with Slaughtering Strikes, with Raging Blow. So I want to press Raging Blow, but I also want to pr press Bloodthirst every other global. Like, it's, like, the problem is these specs are, like, fighting. It's just fighting itself. It's like what happened with ARMS in the, um, our current tier set where you want to spend your, um, Sudden Death proc the moment it happens as ARMS. But the problem is it doesn't feed into Test of Might because it technically doesn't cost Rage. But it works, but it feeds into Anger Management a little bit, I think. I don't know. I don't think it does. So now we're trying to build around Raging Blow and Bloodthirst again because we have to press Bloodthirst for this. But we're also required to blade storm. It's just rough, man. It's rough. Cause I mean, I'm guessing we're like, I mean, is blade storm going to do enough damage that we're going to want to blade storm inside of our spear? Probably not. So we're going to blade storm to set up at the start of a fight, build rage and then pop our stuff and then slam bloodthirsts and rampages as a f primary focus instead of raging blows. But then does that mean that we would maybe want reckless abandon if we're fo if this playstyle is focused on um If this playstyle is focused on Bladestorming, maybe they want us to run Reckless Abandon instead. And if we're running Reckless Abandon, we're probably not running Onslaught. But I mean, we're one of the reasons why we didn't run Onslaught is because Onslaught buffs Slaughtering Strike so much to do more Rampage damage. But then I'm also losing out on Blood Craze value. I just don't have enough points for anything.
just so awkward, man. Hmm. I mean, let's try... Okay, so this, let's assume this might be our single target setup, right? And we're just full sending, we send our bloodthirst, we send our... We send our executes whenever they come up, and we're just doing damn, right? We're just doing damage. I don't know, for something that's supposed to be execute-centric, like, I would assume they would have added, like, some form of, like, Ashen Juggernaut talent in here. But it's just, like, we're reducing the cooldown of, of Bladestorm, so we're just going to be Bladestorming a lot for a Slayer talent. It just doesn't seem to work. The idea when I first heard it sounded cool, but the more I think about it, the less interesting or good it sounds. Because that means we're going to be wanting to send Bladestorm and fucking Execute because we want Hurricane stacks. But it's Bladestorm and single target and Execute, and we're required to take Bladestorm instead of Ravager. Maybe if they change this so this procs Ravager too. I don't know, dude. It just, it just seems very clunky. It's very awkward. But we have said the single target, so now let's look at the potentially AoE talents, right? Same thing here, the Realist Pursuits, PvP talent. Um, I don't understand this talent at all. It's reduced the cooldown of Bloodthirst, but Bloodthirst is already a low cooldown. It's hasted, and you can hit Bloodthirst to every other cooldown anyway. And giving Bloodthirst 10% cooldown doesn't do anything. So resetting Bloodthirst so you can just hit it more often seems way better than ever doing that. Maybe that's just for arms, but even then, that's also overpower is just you just proc another overpower 50% chance every time you, this thing hits. It just doesn't, like, that second talent doesn't still make any sense to me. But if we're going to go AoE, we're going to go Thrill the Kill, because we're going to be swapping talents all the time. Uh, so once again, we're going to, dude, it is actually like, I mean, they rebuilt these trees, man, but there's almost no variability in here. So we'll take the Whirlwind Talent School. We'll be pressing Whirlwind, right? So we'll take those. And I still have to spend two more points. So if we're doing AoE, maybe we're going to be taking... Uh, Stormbolt and Rumbling Earth, potentially. I mean, if this procs enough, maybe we're just not taking, like, Wrath and Fury, and we're taking Blood Craze instead and single target. And Bloodthirst is just going to be our primary button, and the increased attack speed is going to be procking a bunch of Slayer's Dominance, and we're going to be hitting those buttons, right? Maybe. But if we're doing AoE, we're obviously Wreck Ravager. If we're doing that, we're probably running... If we're not doing Bleeds, that means we're probably running Uproar instead of Thunderous Words. Because Thunderous Words Bleed is 30%, but that also means that you're not getting any other value from it. Because what, do you want to have 30% more damage off this, or just 33% more casts? More casts, probably. Especially in a Mythic Plus scenario. Required to take that. I mean, if we're pressing Bloodthirst a lot, like, ugh. Maybe we just don't even take this talent. We just have two charges. We're not taking that, we're not taking that. We need Recklessness. How many more points? We need one more point. Do we spend it on Hack and Slash? Or, you know, probably a point. We're pressing Bloodthirst all the time, probably here.
But here we go again, which with this talent setup and with this build and with Slayer specifically, are we really wanting to run anger management? Because we're just going to desync our blade storm all the time. I mean, probably AM's better. I mean, we're just going to get Bladestorm all the time, though. So it's probably this, right? And, th I mean, there's just no room for Odin's Fury, ever. Like, there's just no way you ever take this button. There's just no... There's no way you're going to take Deft Experience, ever. So you're just never taking Odin's Fury because it's locked behind a button you're never just never going to take. So this is probably our ARE setup, but it's just... I feel like they need to do some more cooking here, man. It's a good start, but like, like we're just choked out. Like I said, we're just this entire talent row is just two point doom. But maybe they really want to force you into it. I don't know.